Chocolate cake. When I was a boy, I had a favourite treat. It was when my mum made chocolate cake. Oh, I loved chocolate cake. My mum, she says to me, listen, Michael, if there's any chocolate cake left over at the end of the day, you can take some to school tomorrow to have at playtime or at lunchtime. So I used to go to school with a piece of chocolate cake in my little box and I'd be walking to school. Yeah, it's in there, yeah. And I'd get to school and it would be playtime or lunchtime and I'd open up the box, take it out. What's it? You got it in chocolate cake and it. Open up the paper. Look at it. Going to get it. Yeah, I love it. Well, look at it. Mm. I loved my mum's chocolate cake, yes. And one time there was some chocolate cake left over at the end of the day and I went to bed and I was fast asleep. And then in the middle of the night I woke up and I thought, chocolate cake. <laughs> Maybe I could go downstairs and have a little look at it. No one would know. So I got up out of the bed. Shh! I mustn't wake my brother up. Along the passage. Careful not to tread on the creaky floorboard outside mum and dad's bedroom because if they wake up and find me, I'll be in big trouble. So really quiet. Urgh. Are they still asleep? Yes. OK. Along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard, and yeah, there it is! Can I take it out? Just have a little look at it. And then I notice some little crumbs on the plate. So I think if I lick the end of my finger, I could pick up some of those crumbs, and no one would know anything about it. Oh, yeah, a little sort of sticky bit of it. And then I notice on the side of the cake, there's some little crumbly bits just falling off. So I think if I take a knife, I could just tidy it up a little bit. No one would notice. Scrunch it all together and there's the crumbly bits and the sticky bits and it's all going to go in there. Yeah, belly, belly, belly. And then I notice that as I've tidied it up a little bit over here, then maybe I could just even it up a bit over here. So I take the knife again and this time through the crispy icing on the top, through the squashy icing in the middle. And I've got a whole slice this time, yeah, and it's all going to go in there. It's a belly, belly, belly. <laughs> and now I've got the taste of it in my mouth and I can't stop myself. So I go, you push, 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 push. And I got all these slices. I can't stop myself. Oh no, it's all gone. Oh no, they're bound to notice now. A whole chocolate cake doesn't just disappear. What am I gonna do? I know, I'll wash up the plate and the knife and they won't know anything about it. Good thinking. Take the plate and the knife and wash it up. Shh, really quiet. Shh. Wash up the plate Shh. and the knife. Shh. And don't forget to dry up, get the cloth. And don't forget the knife. And don't forget to put them away. Plate in the cupboard. And the knife in the drawer. And back up to bed. Up the stairs. 
along the passage. Now I know where the creaky floorboard is now, so all I've got to do is tread over it, because if I tread on it and it makes a noise, I am dead. Careful now. Are they still asleep? Yes, it's okay. Into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. <sighs> nice, warm feeling, chocolate cake in my belly, goody, goody, goody. And I go to sleep. In the morning, I get up and I go downstairs and I'm having my breakfast. And mum is busy over there and she's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, don't forget your book folder. She hands me my book folder. And I'm busy having my breakfast. She's busy over there. She's busy over there. And then she says, oh, Michael, there's something else. There's something nice. There's some chocolate cake left over from yesterday for you to take to school today. And I went, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she says, what's the matter? You usually jump at the idea of having chocolate cake. I went, no, it's all right. It's OK. And she's looking at me very closely, just here. And she says, what's that? And I said, what's what? She said, it's not chocolate cake, is it? And I said, no. Oh. And she went over to the cupboard. It's gone. The chocolate cake's gone. You haven't eaten the whole of the rest of the chocolate cake, have you? And I said, I don't know. You don't know, she said, you don't know. I don't believe a word of it. Now, off you go to school. No, before you go to school, go upstairs to the bathroom and wash your dirty, sticky face. I went upstairs to the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I saw it just there. Chocolate smudge. Chocolate blob. And I looked at it and I thought, maybe next time we have chocolate cake, she'll forget about it. Do you think she will?